Guys, y'all know what I was just thinking about as I'm sitting here playing with Ivan. I'm gonna go ahead and back up a little bit and I'm gonna try to basically, okay, so y'all can estimate how tall a four-wheeler is. A four-wheeler is about, I don't know, maybe three feet tall, comes to about my waist. And Ivan is, Ivan's uh, body is about the same. It's about three feet high, comes up to my waist, I would say. And so just as I was here walking, sitting with him, I was thinking, you know, this guy would be the perfect and I, I, I'm not even kidding, the perfect uh, gift for a young child, like some, like a little kid, maybe three, four, five, six, seven years old. I wouldn't myself want to ride Ivan because, you know, he, I'd probably too heavy for him. I weigh 160 pounds and I don't, he probably doesn't even weigh that much himself, but a small child, like maybe Brindley or one of the babies, like it, it'd be awesome for them to ride Ivan. Ivan would be the perfect He's like a little pony though, look at him. He's literally like a little pony. And so I was just thinking that this right here would be the the perfect pet for a, for a young child. Cause it is like a pony. You might even could trick a child into thinking that it's a pony if it's the right color. And so he's gonna grow a lot bigger than this. Obviously he'll be as big as Ivy and Dan. Those are his parents and they're pretty big donkeys. But as it stands right now, He's only, he was born in February, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So that makes him around three months old. So he's still pretty young and he's still pretty small. But this is, he could almost be a house pet, honestly. If their poop wasn't so bad, if they, if you could somehow potty train. Why is he going all the way to the road for? Ivan, come back, dude. He's just wandering off to the middle of the road for some reason. Ivan, please come back. Ivan. Ivan, please come back, dude. Please. Oh, Ivan. Ivan's a mess. Whoa, look. It's the swings. I've told y'all about the swings maybe once before. Y'all may have forgotten that. It was a very, very long time ago. I remember the exact video that it was in. It was in the video called New Routine, but it was kind of a pun because I spelled routine R-O-O-T dash I-N-E because it's, it was like root, like the roots of a plant because we were planting trees in that video. And so I made it a little bit of a clever pun. So that's the video that I talked about this before. That was a while back, over six months ago, I think. But I remember it was, it's the craziest thing. They're not doing it right now. This might be the first time I've ever seen it like this, but every other time I've come over here, whether it's windy or not, this one swing on the right is like always moving. It's going, it's rocking back and forth, back and forth, and it's like twirling around. And this other one is just stationary, like you would expect, like you would expect it to be. And so I never, I never knew why that was thought it was like haunted or something but right now i don't know what the deal is i don't know what the deal is it just it's normal now this might be the first time i've ever seen it that way oh well let's go back to old ivan over here i can't believe he wandered so far from the house his yard is all the way over there, that building way over there. Over there is where his house is. And so he has wandered over here for some reason. Maybe he wants to try the new grass they have in this location. But no, I know that my dad calls his mom Ivy the pony because she thinks she's a horse. The way that she always goes in the stalls with Bucky's Voodoo and Dixie. She tries to act like one of them. But... As far as appearance goes, and as far as, I guess, just size, demeanor, this right here is really a pony. You having fun just eating that grass, Ivan? Just hanging out? Ivan's having a good old time just chilling. Just eating all the grass. There's big boy. Big boy, what's up, dude? Hey, big boy, how you doing, buddy? Big boy's a fun. Oh, y'all hear that? Y'all hear that thunder? 
Yeah, it's about to rain. I think it's about to rain pretty soon. I better go ahead and get my videos for the day done and get inside pretty soon. Hey guys, oh look, there's, there's the girl who skips leg day like I always say, little Olive. <laughs> she has a funny walk, she has a funny little trot, don't y'all think? I just realized that. I've never really seen her walk a long distance or like trot. I've only seen her walk the way she is right now, but she just did a really funny little trot. <laughs> that was pretty funny, that was cute. Olive, you want pets? What gives? Olive never lets me pet her. I love this goat. I always want to try to pet her, but she just doesn't let me. Maybe because she knows that I kind of tease the way that she looks. Maybe that's why she doesn't let me pet her. Ivan, come back. Ivan, you're not being friendly today like you always are. What gives? I don't know. Come here, Olive. Uh-oh. I think I knew what was about to happen there. She, she looks already pregnant though, big boy. You can move on to somebody else now. She's kind of letting me pet her. Big boy, she looks already pregnant, dude. I think you already did your job with her. Yeah, Olive over here. I think Papa said she's a La Mancha goat. He mentioned that in a different video a long time ago. That's why she has no ears and that's why her frame is kind of funny, but Nonetheless, I think it's cute. All right, so my dad just pulled up and he said, look what I got. Well, normally we get things delivered to our house, but this actually came to mom and dad's house and dad thought it was for him, but it's actually for me. And there's these two shirts and they both say the same thing. I'm a survivor donkey farm sanctuary, but I was trying to read this. This is really sweet. Um, from Elizabeth Dickerson. And she just says that she's been laid up from surgery and uh, what's kind of helped keep her going was, was laughing at all of our videos. <laughs> and she watches all of us. So she wanted to send it over here. Isn't that cute? That's really sweet, I'm a survivor yeah. survivor farm animal sanctuary. And uh, I got a blue one and a red one. That's nice. That's huh? really sweet. Oh, uh, you got time yeah. to video you something else? Yeah. This over here, is, this is even crazier. We have a graduation announcement, okay? Okay. From a family in, I'm gonna say Iowa, Illinois. I-L? <laughs> I-L, Illinois. Yeah, it's Illinois. So this is a sweet letter. But uh, this lady here, uh, Paige, she says that uh, they sent this to all of the family, okay, all of her family, and she could not leave us out. And she goes, now I know you guys can't come all the way to Illinois for my daughter's graduation. But look how pretty this look, young lady is. Ivan, what's up? Ivan, Ivan! Trying to talk about a graduation party we were invited to. Ivan just ran right through Jeez, me. Are you okay, son? I'm good. I'm so sorry. No, he did I'm not good. Want, you know what? He's jealous of all the attention that other people are getting. Seriously. No, you, but you, know, you know how you always call Ivan a pony? I mean, Ivy? <laughs> yeah. I, Ivan's really the pony as far as the size. Y'all not looking at this cute young lady. But yeah, congrats on your gradu congrats. graduation, Sydney. I know. Is her name Sydney? That's what it said. Sydney. Yeah, so anyway, so no, we can't travel to Illinois for a party, but I'll tell you what, you know what? It's sweet that she said, I cannot send this to all of my family without including you guys. Yeah, that, is, that is really sweet. We appreciate that. I know, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So no, I came to Pop Paul's to uh, pre-warn him about something. What's wrong? You look nervous. I was trying to remember the name of the first lady. Uh, I was trying to pre-warn Pop Paul about a video that I'm that's coming out in the next couple of days. Uh, it was from Elizabeth. Oh yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Elizabeth she had surgery. I'm not real yeah. sure what she had surgery on. Surge, surgery. I'm not sure what she had surgery on. My God, Ellie, what's wrong with me? Elizabeth, we appreciate you too. God bless you, and we hope we wish you the best on your recovery. I made a video where I made fun of Papa for wearing the same shirt. The pug shirt. The pug shirt. Multiple <laughs> days in a row. <laughs> And I come to find out, I'm so sorry, it wasn't multiple days in a row. It just so happens that when he makes a video, he happened to be wearing that shirt. Yeah. He just corrected me. And so I said, you know what, Dad? So it's all good. I got my favorite shirts, too. I got my favorite pants and shoes and everything else. I know you probably do as well. And so well, now yeah. I actually have a couple of shirts I can add to my collection. Yeah. So that's all kind of ties together. I mean, I mean, we all have our brand. I mean, you wear the same hat jamie suits the boots my thing is 
obviously. Yeah. Uh, Jake is shirtless Jake's homestead, and then so Pawpaws yeah, will be Jake the. Yeah, Jake has it easy. So Pawpaws will be the pug, pug shirt. shirt. <laughs> no, but Pawpaw said it straight, and I should probably include this in my video, but it's too late. I'll probably do it in the little vlog, the description. But uh, he says, son, I don't wear the same shirt every day. My mom says, no. She goes, I wash it and I fold it. And that's when he, that's, <laughs> my mom says that she washes his clothes like, you know, like every day. And then she'll fold it, put it on top of the pile. When he comes in the morning to open his drawer, he just gets the first thing out. And guess what it is? The pug, the shirt. pug shirt. So it may appear as though he's wearing the same shirt every day. And in fact, he wears it a lot. <laughs> but uh, it's just because my mom folds them. And I told mom, you're going to have to do that little thing they do at grocery stores. Like, you know how they put, like, the the, the oldest stuff comes out first. And yeah. And then, like, put the newest stuff in the back. And so it kind of works itself up. Yeah. You get that? Yeah. No, you don't. I know what you're saying. Yeah, I do. Anyway, so that's all. All right. All right. I left you the side by side. <clears throat> the all right. All right. Thank you. Bye. Love you. Love you, too. Well, that was a pretty sweet surprise. Elizabeth and Sydney, we appreciate the both of you. And we wish you guys the best on your future endeavors, whatever they may be. We're always here. If y'all need someone to talk to or just for anything, not just you two, but all of you guys, we can't really express enough how much we appreciate it and how much your love and support means to us. I know we say it all the time, but it's because it really, really is true. It's a blessing to have y'all a part of our lives. And this guy right here, old Ivan. <laughs> oh man, alrighty guys. I was trying to just go as long as I could thinking about things I can talk about, trying to think of things to say, but my mind has kind of went blank now. So that's usually the cue for me to go ahead and start wrapping up the video. But hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you want to see. Hope you have a great day. And as I always say, your boy Ellie out.